14, an application for a certificate of appropriateness at 76 Second Avenue in the East Village, Lower East Side Historic District. Docket number 15-5903, block 446, lot three, a building designed by Paul Fine and built in 1928 and altered in the late 20th century. The application is to alter the facade, replace windows, install signage, and a rooftop screen. deteriorating and has some cracks that I show on the, on the pages um, and it's also leaking so we were cons you know we were trying to do the best we can with this facade we went to we went and did some research and found a 1940 picture of the existing facade and the way it looks uh, I have a picture of the 1940 versus the existing, and it shows that the top windows are round. Um, the same condition you can see from the interior part of the building, you have a round in the inside part. So we wanted to kind of recreate what the existing building is. Um, our proposal is to kind of mimic what the existing conditions were in 1940, um, but if the fact that there is some existing conditions behind it. Obviously, the difference between what was existing versus the new, the monuments uh, are in different places. And it's because behind, on the second floor, we have a wall that we have to cover, and it's an existing condition. That's the difference between this and that version. Um, the other thing that we did on the building is to create this, the parapet, to, to a higher because we are trying to cover an existing unit that can be seen from the from the street, so it looks from everywhere. <coughs> so that's the reason for for the increase of the parking. And are you adding the no, the sorry, unit you, are you adding the a unit is there? there. But we are okay. trying to hide it with by increasing the parking height and having some perforated panel on top, so you can see it here. And. Uh, I show pictures of the existing brick. Right now it's a stucco over the brick. Uh, it looks like brick, but it's a stucco over a brick, and uh, we are proposing to have um, this kind of brick on the facade and uh, a perforated panel. And, uh, and the signage, you, do you want to speak about well, the signage? Well, we, looking at the existing conditions, we see that they have a sign, and we are trying to kind of go back to the same idea where you have a sign over the doors. Okay. It will be illuminated from the back. And that's basically what our proposal is for this project. All right. Uh, questions for the applicant? Any questions? All right. And just one other question. Uh, so you're, the, the, the window openings that you're proposing are going to be more historic than what there is right now. Is that correct? Right. So but, you can see the, uh, the existing versus the new. Right, so they those sizes similar, actually are better. Yeah, but, are going to the but where the mullions take place, you're not able to replicate the same proportions of the windows because you said there's a wall? There's existing conditions in the back on the second floor that, I, that if I do that, I will see the, the wall 
from the street. As you can see on the photo, maybe this is not that clear, but you can see a wall here, and it's in the middle of the window. I There's see. There's nothing covering it. So the reason for the monuments, that's the basic reason for, for me in there. OK. Are there any quest other questions? All right, we'll take testimony. Barbara Say. Barbara Say of the Historic Districts Council. HDC is glad to see that this proposal would bring the structure a bit closer to its original configuration and appreciates the addition of brickwork st string courses to add architectural detail and interest. Um, at the time that we reviewed this, we didn't know that there was a wall there, so our, our committee um, asked that the further, further consideration be given to follow um, historic photos and other documentation to get the proportions and window openings just right. Um, while such a welcome renovation project is undertaken, it would be a shame to miss the opportunity for accuracy. Um, HDC also asks that the perforated metal screen be reconsidered as there is no historic precedent for it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, we received uh, Community Board 3's recommendation. They've only asked that the project go back to Community Board 3 once, and I guess it should be if and once, uh, Landmarks approves this project. Are there any more speakers on the uh, on this item? Does that mean they haven't approved it? It's, uh, I would say, at best, it's confusing. But they support the project, but would like it to come back because uh, I guess they want to see the final drawings. Is that right, Emily? Yes, and Mark? OK. I have a question about the screen. So what are they doing? The screen is what they're taking down. Right. Yes, can you ask, uh, answer that question? It has to do with what's happening at the roof, right? Yes. What, because you said you're screening and a uh, yeah, unit. Yeah, what's happening is as an existing, we are going to take the entire facade, the brick facade, mm -hmm. and replace it with a new brick. Okay. At the top, you have the parapet. I'm trying to just cover what is behind the parapet by, by I guess, making it taller. But by in this feet. picture, I can't see what it's this is existing. I can't see the, the unit that you're uh, talking about. Right there on the oh, you're unit. talking about, is it a mechanical unit? Mechanical, AC unit. It's a unit that is very close to the front uh, property line. And right. you can see it from everywhere. So in order for us not you know, to hide it, we were proposing that the screen. All right, but from, go ahead. But, but it seems that the screen is at the same height as the existing. No, it's actually no, higher. bigger, it's higher. The original is around 42 inches, so and we are proposing six feet, area. but it's going to be at the same height as a neighboring building. So you can see, see these two drawings with the same scale, and the floor lines line up. Yeah. And you can see how much higher the parapet yeah. is on the right side than on the left Versus side. The left side. Yeah. But we are trying to keep it on maintaining just below yeah, these now, below the next building. Okay, it so but why wouldn't you build that? Why wouldn't you build the curve? How much taller would that curve wall have to be? This would be from the top of the roof, it's going to be around six feet instead no, of the what, no. So what is it, what's the difference in the, the location of the top of the roof, I mean, the top of the wall on the left as, as compared with where you're showing the screen? Oh, this difference? No, no. the screen, the top of the screen, the okay. highest point on the screen uh -huh. versus the highest point on the existing masonry. Okay, it's about, I would say, 10 inches, I give it. So why wouldn't you just do the amazing? Right, I, I think it's not, it doesn't seem like it's either critical for you uh, if you didn't put that screen and you just kept the, the historic, yeah. exactly, if, if we want less intervention. Well, the stripping down the facade. The facade. And, right. That's closer to the original facade yeah. because the original facade has that curve. The original, the original did a curve at one time. Um, uh, there. You can see here, there is a little curve on the right. Okay. So they have a curve and they seem to have an indent also. Indent, yeah. mm -hmm. So if you're, so why don't you just, why, would why don't you just do that? We're trying to propose some material, new material that we can use also on the, on the sign. But, uh, on, the uh, on the sign, I'm sorry. Like, uh, here on the sign. Uh, right. Sign, and we are proposing the sign to be here and it would be kind of the same material that we are going to use. Right, but we're talking about, uh, I think, the historic roof line and uh, 
Uh, it should yeah, be. So even should... if it's not the same height, at least it's the same shape, you know, because that seems to be your yeah, we are going your theory to for your right. project is that you want to have this open. And the other question would be why wouldn't the window, the top windows, have the same shape? I mean, you have the cir the, the corners are circular, but. I mean, these are just little things, but since you're going there, you might as well go well, there. The these windows are because of the existing, that was the existing shape. Right, the historic going, windows are I'm curved. I'm just going to restore the existing opening. As so you can you see here, there is an existing opening there. This, it's a whole new facade. This building is identified as a no-style building in our designation report. So we have uh, stated that it doesn't have any contributing features as it is today. The proposal is not a true restoration of the facade that is no longer exists. It's a new facade that has many of the sort of elements that evoke the historic facade. Right, and it seems that what they've shown is that the, the openings are closer to what they were historically, including the curve, except not the proportions of the Malians and Mountains. And the roof, uh, or the, the top edge of it, they've increased in height to screen off the mechanicals. So uh, I, I don't feel strongly about bringing it one way or the other. I don't know if other commissioners do. About the plan? No? I just think that the masonry, in this case, maybe works better than the screen. I don't understand. So if, if they, as long as they put masonry, as you'd be fine? As long as they took the whole thing down and putting it back, why wouldn't they just do it in? Right, but I'm trying to understand your comment. Do you, want them to have the, do you want them to have the same profile as they have right now, but have it entirely masonry, or yeah, do you want them? Yeah. OK, does that make sense? All right, so that we can, uh, we can modify that. OK, so uh, I don't know if I close the hearing, but I'll close it again. Did, didn't we take testimony? Yes, OK. All right, so we close the hearing. Um, Roberta, do you want to read, read into the record? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, in the matter of uh, 76 Second Avenue, East Village, Lower East Side Historic District. Um, applications to alter facade, replace windows, install signage, and a roof and rooftop metal panel. Uh, I recommend approval, finding that the facade has been highly altered with wood space cladding, cladding and modified masonry openings, and therefore the work will not result in the elimination of significant architectural or historic fabric that the raised height of the lintels of the window openings will more closely recall the height and size of the original openings at the second floor and segmental arched windows at the top floor and therefore will help bring the facade closer to its original appearance. Uh, that the new brick facade featuring soldier forcing details and proposed enlarged window openings will reintroduce the hierarchy and composition of the historic facade that the proposed metal tripartite windows consisting of fixed single pane awnings and hopper windows and transoms will be in keeping with the historic tripartite casement windows at the building. That the new brick will closely match the historic brick in terms of size, color, and texture. That the back lit si lit signage will consist of lettering and a logo mount on a perforated metal, um, perforated metal panels and will not detract from the character of this busy commercial thoroughfare. That the proposed perforated metal panel at the roof will recall the arch profile of the historic parapet and will help conceal the rooftop uh, mechanical equipment. That the proposed work will unify and improve the appearance of this altar facade and that the work will enhance the special architectural or historic character of the building and the East Village Lower East Side Historic District um, with the uh, modification that uh, the, um, front, the front facade top uh, be of masonry instead of the um, perforated metal panels. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, this application's been approved.